In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the handle assembly on a DeWalt DCD 950 cordless drill. No matter how careful you are, accidents will happen around the job site, and eventually you'll probably find it necessary to replace the handle assembly on a cordless drill. Fortunately, this is an easy repair, and I'm going to show you how to do it now. We'll get started by separating the two halves of the handle assembly. On my DeWalt drill, there's two screws that secure the transmission to the handle, and then a series of screws that hold the two halves of the handle together. Now I'll pull the two halves of the drill apart. As we disassemble the drill, I want to keep my eyes open for any other damage that may have occurred to the drill. With this type of damage, it's not uncommon for other parts of the drill to also be damaged, especially the switch. And you can see the lower part of our switch was damaged, so we'll need to replace that as well. Next, I'll remove the two screws on the opposite side of the drill that attach the transmission to the other side of the housing. Next, there's these two blocks that secure the armature assembly to the lower housing. I'll remove the four screws that secure those blocks now. Now I can remove the motor assembly from the rest of the housing. The last part I need to remove is the lower brush holder. Before I pull it out though, I want to take note of which wire goes to which brush holder on the tool. Now that I've taken the drill apart, I've gone through and inspected each of the drill's components and done a quick inventory of the parts we'll need to replace. Obviously, we need a new handle. I found three screws that were bent we'll need to replace. And as I mentioned before, the switch was damaged and we'll replace it as well. Now we can begin with reassembly. Here I have the new housing assembly. I'll set the top half of it aside. And we'll start by installing the new switch into the housing. I'll place the switch into the housing and then route the brush wires through the housing so they don't get pinched when we reassemble everything. Now I'll install the lower brush holder. And next, the forward reverse lever. Now we have two leaf springs that are in the old drill housings. I'll pull these springs out and transfer them to the new housings. These springs are what hold the transmission in the gear position that you've selected. Now I can place the motor assembly into our new housing. And I'll secure the motor armature with the bearing blocks. Now the two screws that secure the transmission assembly to the housing.
Now I can reconnect the wire to the upper brush assembly and slide it into the housing. And again, I'll go through and make sure the wires are out of the way so they don't get pinched when we reassemble the two sides of the housing. Now I can reassemble the two halves of the housing. There's a small bit holder clip that fits into the base of the housing. I'll slide that in next. And then attach the other side of the housing. Now I can secure the two halves of the housing together with the screws. And I'll finish up with the two screws that secure the transmission to the housing.